Hello and welcome to another sponsored screencast episode of webinformant.tv. I'm your host reviewer David Strom. Today we're looking at TuneUp Utilities 2010, a nifty utility that can help improve an aging Windows system as well as keep a new PC running smoothly. Have you noticed that your machine is slower than when you first got it? Is your start menu and desktop cluttered with too many programs? Then this might be the software that can help clean and speed things up. TuneUp Utilities 2010 has some important improvements over earlier versions, including a very intuitive start page that we see here. Another improvement is the single click turbo mode. As you can see from the setup wizard, we can disable unneeded background apps, limit synchronization with external devices, and defer scheduled maintenance tasks. The last step of this wizard is particularly interesting. After the latest update of TuneUp Utilities 2010, it offers a choice between a session-based turbo mode, which gets turned off automatically when the system is shut down, and a permanent turbo mode to speed up your boot process. Next time you click the Turbo Mode button, all of these unnecessary apps will be turned off immediately. With activating Turbo Mode, users will see fewer interruptions and have more of their processing power dedicated to what they're currently working on, a power boost to your PC for temporary resource-hungry processes such as video rendering and gaming. Another new feature is TuneUp Live Optimization. Here you can see that we can lower process priority and increase response times. Basically, live optimization makes sure that the background applications don't eat up all of your PC's resources, like your main memory or processor power. Instead, your PC can focus on the work you're doing or the games you're playing. You can test this out by using the CPU stressor program that you can download from TuneUp's website. Another feature is automatic maintenance, where every three days, or on the schedule of your own choosing, it will perform various tasks such as cleaning up the registry, freeing up disk space, and defragging your hard drive. Don't worry, this maintenance will only start when you're not working with your PC, and something for the mobile fanatics, it will not start when your laptop is on battery power. As part of the installation process, we created a profile of our PC that describes the, the speed of our internet connection and other criteria, as you can see here. You can go in and change it if your circumstances change. Once we've done that, you can see the recommendations that the software has for optimizing our PC's performance, and here you see several changes that it has given us to speed things up. We click on these items, and the changes are instantly made to our PC. TuneUp Utilities 2010 will also find review and allow you to fix common problems as you see here, such as missing antivirus software and default administrative network shares that have been turned on. There's even a cool way to customize your login screen with the program. Go to Customize Windows option on the right, Login Screen, add an image, and apply the changes. No more boring Microsoft logos. Finally, there's an optimization summary report that you see here that shows you what tasks the program has done over the past week or month. Should you find that you tweak something you didn't like, you can bring up the TuneUp Rescue Center and undo any and all of these changes or even recover your PC. What didn't I like about the program? The quick defrag didn't really do much to my hard drive, and I would recommend the more lengthy and effective process. While the remaining utilities do what they say in terms of cleanup, the installation menus are quite lengthy and could use for a bit of cleaning up themselves, as this long list from the Windows Programs menu shows. TuneUp Utilities 2010 runs on Vista XP with SP2 and even Windows 7. There are desktop gadgets for Vista and Windows 7 too. TuneUp Utilities 2010 is a nice complement to other protective features, such as antivirus and anti-malware software. Thanks for watching another episode of webinformant.tv. If you want me to come speak at your next conference or event, watch more of my video reviews, or subscribe to my weekly free newsletter on other IT-related topics, check out the links on this slide.